I mean, you know, I mean, how could they be so evil that they were doing this? You know, the, the way they manipulated people. I mean, it's bad enough when you read some accounts of people who are in the People's Temple. They they discuss some of the sick games that Jones would play in the church itself, like in, in San Francisco, and even he would force people to, like have sex on the stage, and you know, he would force many women to have sex with him, women as well as men. And, I mean, that's kind of sick enough what he was doing. He developed files on everybody. And that's another indication that he was probably CIA, that they, he developed like a very sophisticated filing system so he could monitor you know, every, and know everything about everybody in the People's Temple. And he could use it for blackmailing purpose. And he would even trick them into signing their names. Like he would have them sign their name on a blank paper. And then it would insert you know, that they had committed all these crimes. So if they were ever going to leak any information, they would say, oh, look, you've admitted to all these crimes. You're going to go to jail. Uh, you better keep quiet. Uh, so, I mean, just the, the level of manipulation within the church. And then, yeah, if you get into what we've been discussing, that they're performing sick medical experiments, uh, and then they would just murder all these people uh, to prevent exposure. It's, it's a horrifying uh, story uh, overall. I mean, it's bad enough to think that people might be led into a mass suicide, yeah. but that's almost kind of tame when the real story starts to emerge, and, and the level of manipulation is just uh, unbelievable. Yeah, people, the audience should go back to the archives and look up uh, the White House Boys, the Dozier School for Boys here in Florida, uh, where it was a, a school for orphans and young boys and stuff like that. They didn't have clothes. They didn't have proper food. They, they were being worked half to death, but they had medical equipment down there, and these kids were being uh, examined on a regular basis. Uh, with high, They couldn't believe the high-tech equipment uh, that they were being uh, examined with. So... And this is not all that far-fetched. Now, let's see. We won't, we've only got about five minutes left. Uh, is there anything I haven't asked you that's really important you want the audience to know? Uh, well, I, I think we've covered it pretty well. I, I think, yeah, the other angle of this is that, you know, as part of the manipulation is that the, 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 the level of manipulation the CIA would go to to, you know, try and alter American politics and try and discredit the 60s movements, uh, by again trying to associate them with Joan and that they went like lemmings to their death uh, to this cult leader I think it was all a fabricated story and this was set up by the, by the CIA as part of their political agenda of discrediting the political left uh, so in a way it's kind of clever but the, 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 the sadistic minds in that agency and a lack of regard for human life as you were pointing out, like a Mitrion who would torture people yeah. uh, in front of other people, you know, it's it's sad uh, that uh, these people exist. That, you know, people are so diabolical, and they're in, in powerful positions in society. And sadly, we see that continuously in the present day. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily give you confidence in in the human species when you get into these kind of stories, but it is the reality. And yeah, I think uh, you know, with Ryan, his his aide Joe Holsinger, uh, at the end of my article, yeah, I quote his son. Like, right. I mean, you know, I mean, this kind of the true the true story in history is really buried and known only to a small number of people who've really dug into it. And I think the public at large has been kept in the dark. And there's still these movies that present the uh, myth, uh, mythic story of people uh, committing mass suicide. But yeah, William Holsinger, the son, you know, according to the end of the article, he said, whether there was some broader conspiracy and what it might have consisted of are matters I've determined to leave to future generations. And I think even he, and, th and this was at the 30th anniversary of Jonestown, so there was a reluctance to even investigate this, even you know, decades later, uh, and to grapple with the, the truth of what, what was behind all this. And again, I think it's because the CIA is still so powerful yeah. uh, that nobody wants to challenge them and call them out for, for something as horrible as this. Yeah, there's always a TV movie with the official story. Mm -hmm. and, and right now, you know, this whole thing with Stormy Daniels, you know, I know all those people involved in that whole story. 
uh, and I'll try and explain to people what, what, what really went on. And I said, oh, but no, I watched something on TV. <laughs> Let me tell you what I think. You know, okay, yeah. whatever. You know? I've had that too, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you do, man. Yeah. Um, and also the other one too is I just did a show about the, the, the Hotel Scarface uh, the mutiny uh, club in uh, it was the um, the club in that movie Scarface, you know, and and, and all of the CIA, all the CIA, Mitch Warbell hung out there, E. Howard Hunt hung out there, Jeb Bush with this big stupid mustache was hanging out at this place uh, that you see in the movie Scarface with all that action was going on. <sighs> Jeremy Kazmarov, go to JeremyKazmarov dot com. Also, you can find him too at Covert actionmagazine.com uh, where you can support you can support either by donating subscribing or ordering the back issues which I can't encourage people enough there's so much disinfo out there there's so many characters out there that get all their information from Google and then they bought a microphone they go on the air they repeat a bunch of crap that they googled which is controlled by the same folks okay let's face it uh, so let's try and get some, some support to the real people out there uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Jeremy Kozmarov and CovertActionMagazine.com. Well, thank you. Yeah, and we can use, uh, you know, if you have story ideas or we'd love, you know, an article on what you're saying, the Stormy Daniel, the real story, I'd love to know that. <laughs> and we'd love to have more articles uh, on these kind of topics. So if you have a story you'd like to tell, you can write for us. My email is jkuzmarov2 at gmail.com. Uh, I'll send you what I got on the Hunter Biden laptop, too, because believe it or not, they're connected. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> All right, bro. In fact, I'll send it to you right after the show. Jeremy, okay. thank you so much. Listen, anything comes up. You got a recipe book you want to tell us about? <laughs> Give us a call. We'll put you right on the show. Okay, my friend? Okay. Good night. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Take care.